Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use Keeper security. Not only that I'm going to teach you how you can use it on desktop application, but also I will show you how you can use it as a browser extension and online. Now, the first thing is when you're going to come on the website Keeper security, we are going to click on the top right, try Keeper free. If you already have an account, guys, just completely skip this step. Let's click here for personal use. And now I'm going to try our personal password manager, sign up for free 30 day trial. Okay. And I'm going to add email address here. Like this, accept, sign up free. And now I just have to And here we go. So this is our email address. Next. Now I'm going to add a master password. Master password should be something that you're not going to forget. This is just my fake account. It should have like numbers and uh, like big, small, also some kind of symbols if you want to, but definitely write it down somewhere on paper. Now I accept Keeper's terms of use, click next, and then let's go to email and we need to verify our mail. So let's just wait until it's going to get. Let's click recent email because I didn't get it for some reason. Here we got it. And next. And here we go. Let's import your existing password into Keeper later because I don't have any. Now, there is some quick start here. Your passwords, files and photos stored in Keeper are called Keeper Records. Now, in this part, guys, I'm going to show you how we can use the online program. And I'm going to guide you what you can find here. And what you have to do is pretty straightforward. First thing first is how we can create a new password or record. Go to the left, click create new. Here you have options to add a record as some kind of like password, folder, shared folder, payment card. I'm going to click here record here. I'm going to add a title and it's going to be how to mm, Twitter login is going to be this phone here, gmail.com. And then my password there is this, I think. And this is the website address that I have here. Now I can have like custom fields name and custom fields. If you have some files or photos and add two factor code for extra security on support to websites and apps, use Keeper to store two factor and you can have it if you want to. And you can also add note. Then what you need to do is go to the right and let's click save. Voila. And now we have our first record, our first password. Let's click next here. First, uh, the second thing what we are going to do, I'm going to show you how we can download your extension. So let's go install now. And it's going to automatically get you to your Keeper security, Keeper password. You can also install Chrome here. And this is it. Like, I don't know why it's connecting to this one here. Fascinating, isn't it? So I'm going to install this one. Add to Chrome. It can read and change all your data. Add extension. Voila. And now we have it. So we are automatically logged in because we are here. Uh, in Keeper Security. So we will get to it straight away. And this is how we can add extension. You can display logs here. You can generate passwords. And it will automatically create passwords for you on the top right when you're going to look. Then you're going to have a vault. Let's just skip that so I can show you everything. You're going to have a vault here. It will automatically put you there. So when I'm going to click it and click vault, here we are. And then you can also have settings 
and you're gonna have things like hover locks only show keeper icons when hovering your mouse over the field you have prompt to login prompt to fill auto submit prompt to change and you can mm, like have this on or off that's like up to you and now let's just test our password and let's see how it works before we go further to identity payment security audit and breach watch okay so the first thing i'm going on twitter and i'm going to log out and i'm going to log in so as you can see we have would you like keeper to autofill your login let's go no thanks you can have it or no that's completely up to you when i'm going to click right here i i'm going to see my login so you can see this small icon right here and i could simply click fill see logged in easy as that log out let's log in again and i can click here I can only like copy it, copy username, copy password. And like this, copy password. And I'm not going to get logged in. But again, you can auto log in. You can turn it off if you want to. That's completely up to you. Of course, when I'm going to have it like this, and it's bugged out right now, you can see clearly here, I can change the password. I can create new. I can edit even the password. That's really great. And this is the fun Part. So you can auto submit turn off and auto fill turn on. So right now, let's say I'm going to press fine. I press the arrow right there and I'm going to again and look at this. It's automatically going to uh, put the name and password or the email to log in and I'm going to click login. So this is how we can do it and this is how we can use it and how we can use Keeper password with your extension. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So let's go further. Uh, if you can have any questions, guys, just ask down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how you can simply add identity and payments. Here you have options to add personal information. So let's say I'm going to add username, phone number. Click save. And voila. And then I can have also payment cards here and I can add a payment card. Of course, I'm not going to add my own payment card. So I'm going to like Marcus Yabadabadu. Like this, like this. Name of the card Yabadabadu. And I can have it as a default. You can also add a billing address. Click save. And voila, here you will be able to use it for paying then. That's really good. So if you're paying something online, you can just easily use it. Security audit. This is something uh, that you can look on. Like what is the security of your passwords and if they are good. And if they're actually like, okay, password wise. Now you see right here, if some of them are reused or weak. So that's pretty good. Then you're going to have the breach watch right here. And breach watch. Alerts you when stone usernames and passwords match yours. So I can scan it. Looking good. And this is something that you can turn on now but you need to buy it, right? So this is how Bridge Watch works. And then you're gonna see the delete items under Bridge Watch. And it's need to be like paid feature right here. Now when you go on the top right, you can go under account settings. And here you have option to reset your master password. You can change a theme here. You can change your email address, find and delete duplicate records. You can delete all own records. Then under security, you can stay logged in. Stay logged into Keeper when you close, close your browser or restart your computer. You can also enable self-destruct. 
after five failed login attempts, all locally stored key profiles are erased. Two factor provides an extra layer of protection against unauthorized access. You can have that. Also, you can auto approve devices from recognized IP addresses and then key profile. So key profile for applications. And you can have that. And now that's what I'm going to show you is that you can have Keeper feel for apps is only available for the Keeper desktop application. And we are going to download it. And now I'm going to teach you how you can simply Keeper security for desktop. So what you want to do is write just into Google Keeper security download. Click on the first link. Here you can have the Keeper desktop app and I have Windows. So I'm going to download it for Windows. Download for Windows 10. App Installer. By installing, you agree this will app automatically check for install updates. And let's just wait until it's going to install. And now it's launching. So, welcome to your Keeper world. First thing first, I'm going to log in. I'm going to add the email address that we created together. Next, master password, login. And voila, here we are. Free versus unlimited one device with no backup protection. Unlimited password storage cloud backup sharing. You can have it or no. And this is how we do it, right? Fill passwords on any native application using a hotkey. So we can have it on alt. One. Control one is going to be mine. Next. And now let's say B. Let's try it out now. Skype. So as you can see, we have our own. And let's say I'm going to. This is my name here. Sign out. Yes. And let's say I'm going to create a new record. You can have also a folder or a payment card or a shared folder in which you have like multiple uh, passwords. Record, title, Skype, email, username. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right password that I have. We will see. And then. Oh, it's going to automatically lock me in. And this is when I would come here and it should work like right here, just control one and it should work for you. Right? Best. And then right here. Do a password. And copy and paste. Right now with Skype it's kind of tricky. Only because like it's through the Microsoft. And this is the same thing with the Gmail. Like when you have this kind of process that you don't have both things. Uh, like Steam. On Steam login you have both things. You can add them. Here in with Microsoft I don't have it. So I'm going to add sign in. And this is even like wrong the password that I have for Skype. But you get an idea how it works. And yeah, this is the right one. See? So this is how it works. So yeah, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. 
This is how we can use Keeper Security with kind of the desktop version. It's kind of tricky, but you have to test it out because like those programs are working differently. So when I would come here, I can go to settings, Keeper Feel, Configure, and Lounge Keeper Feel, Feel Username, Control Shift P, Feel Password. So this is how you can edit that. And I don't know, like I, I decided this is going to be Control one but it's still this so you just add a control shift p and it's going to fill your password control shift u and it's going to paste your mm, username but again you have to config configure it by yourself to see what suits you the best and what is the best thing for you now if you can have any questions guys again ask me down in the comments happy to help this is how we can use the keeper security password manager password security keeper keeper security keeper how to use it so Thank you very much, guys, and have a great day, and goodbye. See ya.